In this video, I want to show you how to turn this visual into that visual using Charticulator in Power BI. My last video was about rules of good business communication following IBCS standards when displaying a couple of scenarios like actuals or budgets in your charts. Finally, I came up with this result using Charticulator Visual. Although this already aligns with a couple of best practices for data visualization, it still lacks a very important aspect of good communication with your data. The aspect of providing the deviation between your actuals, forecasts and budgets. IBCS recommend to create multi-tier charts for that purpose, showing the deviations as additional bars right above the main chart area. Once again, this is something that can't be done using standard Power BI features, and once again, the Charticulator visual comes to the rescue. But before we take a closer look at the detailed steps, I want to repeat my recommendation to check out the Zebra BI visuals for Power BI following the link in the description below. Those visuals not only provide the features we are replicating today out of the box, but a ton of additional capabilities that are unmatched when it comes to IBCS conform reporting. The data is almost the same as in the first video. We have our different scenarios, the actuals, forecasts and budgets, all by month. And we still have our scenario flag, flags, which um, yeah, just uh, flag the month uh, either or whether they are um, actual months or foreca forecast months. We now added the deviation um, column to this data which is um, simply a measure that calculates either the, the difference between actuals and budgets or forecasts and budgets according to the scenario we have uh, in the respective month. And yeah, that's, that's the deviation we are seeing here. But at least we won't take that uh, data to our visual to create those um, multi-tier charts, but Instead, we created the positive, or I created the positive and negative um, columns here, which are at least only some um, DAX measures that divide that column in either positive deviations or negative deviations while showing both positive and negative deviations as absolute values. So, in order to create multi, uh, the deviations using multi-tier uh, chart experience, we, the first step is to add those additional, uh, additional columns to our field list, which I already done there. So, after that, you can click the ellipses, click Edit and go to Charticulator to enhance the result we achieved in our first visual showing um, the actual forecasts and budgets side by side. The first step is to at least compress the existing chart a bit and add a guide. We add a guide at the left side and we use this guide to introduce a couple of additional lines to the chart. Um, I choose the number of 18 additional lines which is quite an arbitrary number. Um, the, the, the reason I'm doing this is I just want to add a lot of granularity to the canvas so that I'm able to um, yeah, to, to align the additional um, items I'm going to put into the chart um, very on a, on a very detailed scale. So that's the only reason. So the next step is also to compress the chart a bit 
to the bottom to get some additional space at the top for our um, deviation bars. After that, I'm going to create two glyphs. Um, I'm doing that because I'm about to add two additional plot segments and every or each and every plot segment needs a dedicated glyph in Chaticulator. So here are our two glyphs and I'm going to add my first plot segment here at the top while I was selecting um, glyph 1. So I'm able now to to simply rename it because this glyph will show our positive values. And in order to show our positive values, I'm not now going to add some rectangles, some marks to this um, plot segment showing just yeah blue marks. And due to the fact that those will be our our positive values, I will apply a light green color to, the, to it. And also, and also, I would like to, um, uh, to drag our positive values to the height of those um, rectangles. At least for the negative values, I'm about to do exactly the same. So I'm selecting the second glyph and I'm adding a plot segment right beneath the positive one. Now I'm of course able to also rename the glyph to negative because it's for showing the negative values. And I'm once again adding a rectangle which is blue at the beginning, but I'm going to apply a light red color and drag the negative values to the height just yeah, because I yeah, want to use this, um, this plot segment to show the negative values. Now I'm ready to at least expand the main chart back to its full width so that we yeah, kind of create this effect of showing yeah, those bars right above the, the monthly categories. Um, I also want to add some um, data labels. So therefore I'm about to add or select the glyph for, po for positive values and add a text box and I'm going to put the positive values into the text box and now we are yeah now we can see all this months where we don't have any positive deviations and therefore Charticulator is yeah displaying zero values um, that's quite not something that I would like to see, so um, I'm going to. Here we go. Where is it? I'm going to change uh, the conditional uh, visibility, and I'm ch um, using the greater one uh, mode and excluding uh, zero values. And now, as you can see here, only the labels for positive values remain. Um, now we are going to do exactly the same for the negative values, but at first we have to add an additional option just in order to, to, to make them uh, make the negative deviations um, running from the top of the bar chart to the bottom instead of uh, from the bottom to the top. So I'm just switching their display mode from bottom to top. And now we have this nice effect of yeah, bars coming from, yeah, from the axis and going to uh, the negative area. And yeah, of course, I'm going to add also some text boxes for the labeling here. Um, 
and this time I'm going to add the negative values. Um, I'm changing the, the format of this text in order to yeah, make crystal clear that this is about negative values. And of course, I yeah, still want to go or want to configure it and the conditional visibility also for the negative values, which also is about greater than zero, which in the end, yeah, leads to, to this um, to this almost final result. The last thing I'm going to do is to add this kind of line here in the middle and I'm going to yeah give it a yeah light maybe a gray color and increase the width a bit. Um, this is just yeah in order to to create some kind of experience that there is some kind of axis um, between this bar chart. So um, yeah, and and that's almost it. So now you can uh, change, uh, save your result, and yeah, the remaining parts are just about some formatting to give your visuals layout the yeah the finishing touch. Um, here's a short recap of the main steps we applied to achieve this IBCS conform comparison on, on, on our scenarios. And yeah, I, I recommend to check out the first video to get the full picture on how we got to this result. Hope this was useful for you. Stay healthy, stay safe and goodbye from Hamburg.